guys, so welcome to Gamer Today. Gonna do a quick unboxing video, very short, very easy one. But I've got something here, it's the PlayStation camera. Now if you guys don't know what this does, basically it allows you to add picture in picture in your video, meaning your live streams. Meaning you can see my beautiful face on camera while we play certain games. So quite nice, you can see the back of the box right there. Yeah, it's a box, I know. Anyhow, but you can see that. It also works with the PlayStation VR, which you could also see there. But who the fuck cares about PlayStation VR? It's fucking weird as shit. On the phone with, like, this headset bullshit. No, thank you, mister. I'd like to play with a good old controller, not some of these movie juggy shit. The fuck's up with that? Fucking, like, drumsticking and shit? I don't think so. Not for me. But other than that, what I really wanted it for was because I can actually put myself on broadcast, basically with it live. So pretty cool. Here you guys go. You can see the box. Yeah. Enough about the box, right? Let's open this bad boy up. So, so there's these little tabs on the side. You got to remove these first. It's a pain in my ass, right there. That's what that is—a pain in the fucking ass. And then it does this. You see, that sucks. That really sucks. Out of it, right? So we go. Pop up the box. There you go. It's what it looks like. You guys have seen this before, I'm sure. And if you haven't, hey, thanks for watching. Anyway, open this damn thing up. Here we go. See that? It's just some plasticky bit there. All right. Open. Ah, oh, jeez. Fucking hurt. Alright, let's put that this way. There we go. Oh, oh shit, there's some manual right here. It tells you about all that good stuff, but I'm a man. I don't read manuals. That's the other thing, right? So, open this bad up. Let's see. One little in there with this little insert. To show you what's going on here. Because I'm pulling off this plastic. There we are. Oh, God. Ooh, that looks nice. Wow. Alright. Ooh, that stand. So once you've got all this plastic and bits out of the way, you can actually take a look at the goodies. And I will say, this is quite nice. I know this is not the camera, this is the actual stand. But it has got some weight to it. Like, this has a bit of weight to it. And it's got these little triangles and... Oh, where you go? There you go. Little buttons on there. It's got, like, the O, the X, the square, the triangle. On the stand, and it, it folds in a couple of different from, uh, formations, so you've got more flexibility with it. It's pretty damn neat. The plastic, it's got little rubber there so it doesn't scratch it or anything like that. Pretty neat. So let's take a look at the camera now. Okay, and it popped back. Ooh. Remind me of something else for a minute there. But anyway, so we can take a look at this. This is a pretty plasticky, but it looks very clean, feels good. I mean, this is very nice plastic right there. You can feel that it feels like quality camera itself so there are four sensors here these are four microphones actually pretty neat you can see it looks damn great I mean you've got the two wide-angle lenses right there very neat this thing into here you just want to slide that in like this and it snaps into place so like this and then you've just got to turn it a bit so that way it's not blocking those microphones and it's got about a, a two meter cable which is about 6.5 feet cable uh, something like that and it's pretty long. I mean, that's pretty good I mean this will definitely even with my 60 inch LG TV be able to be used. That's pretty good I like that quite a bit so very cool. Uh, it seems like it's quite sturdy But it can move around if you play with it a lot, but look at this if you jiggle it Look at this. I'm putting some good force into that. Yeah, you like that don't you? It's pretty good though. It stays in place I like that quite a bit. So that is really neat uh, again, like I said, it can fold onto things so on my hand like this. You know, it's kind of like a little tarantula or some shit. It's like, ah! You know, it's pretty cool though. It works. That's the important part. And you've got some length. That's always good. I've got my big LG 60 inch TV. You can go on a seat in the background. I'm holding it like this. So, probably not. But either way, we're going to show you how this plugs into your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 4 Pro, like we've got. Anyway, you can see this will not work with a PC. It's got a very weird plug on it. It's different. It's not like a USB uh, plug, which I kind of thought it might have been. So, let's get down here. Hang on. Okay, you see that bit slot right there next to the HDMI? That's where this goes. So. And when plugging this thing in, make sure the logo, the PlayStation symbol, is facing up like this. Otherwise, it's not going to work, because see, it's one-sided like that. Okay, now let's go for it. Okay, slid in like a glove. Perfect. We've got it plugged in. We need to find a spot for this actual camera. Make sure not to scratch the lenses. Make sure to clean them before placing them wherever you are. And if you're constantly live streaming, make sure to always warp it now and again, because there's dust in the air. It just happens. Take a look at this TV. There's dust on top there. See that? Needs to be wiped. So wipe your TV off before we actually put it up there so you don't get it all dirty. Anyways, I'll show you in the next part where we're going to place this bad boy. So you really want to try to get this in the center of your TV. See how there's pretty much equal, e even, obviously, maybe a slight bit off on the pinch. But uh, let's go maybe a little bit to the right with it. You can see it can move around now, so you don't want to pull on that cable. You don't want to knock it around. But you do get it to fold over there pretty neat. And it's not really going anywhere. If you see, I can jiggle this a bit. 
Yeah, it'll come off, but I mean, it's not going to fall on its own is what I'm trying to say. Come around back, you can see what I've done with the cable. I've literally just placed it behind here and you can see it goes down to the system. Not too bad. Now that we've got it all set up, how does it look on TV? How does it work? How do you do it with your system? Well, you can see we've got it back there still, right? So let's show you in this part of the video how to set it up, what it does, and just play with it a bit and see where we go. So you guys can see what's going on here, it says select yourself in the directional buttons and press X again. So I had to increase the lighting in my room just a bit, but this is for face recognition, so it's kind of neat, you can see it does pick me up quite well. Uh, if I zoom in a bit more you can actually see what's going on here. So you can kind of see it looks pretty neat, it looks nice. Anyway, so a little grainy, the image is not amazing right now, but it's just trying to read my face, so let's give it a fair chance. I click the X button. There's my face. Now let's take a few photos of your face at a few different angles. Okay, now it's telling me to do some movement thing, eh? Tilt your head left. Tilt your head right. Thank you. Uh, on the next screen, turn your head from side to side and match the movement of the box. This is a bit silly, okay. Oh. Uh... Okay, did that work? Okay, got one of them. On the next screen, nod your head up and down and match the movement of the box. Okay. Why not? There we are. Okay, you'll be able to log into PS4 simply by showing your face to the PlayStation 4 camera. So, kind of neat. I know you guys can't really read that because it's so zoomed in. But anyway, so one of the features I had forgotten to mention is that you can use this to wake up your system automatically, which is something I don't think I'm going to ever use it for. So you do that. Let's see what happens if we try to do a game and try to broadcast it. Just a test video. See what happens right now. Anyways, let's go. So for this next section of the video, it's going to be a bit of a split screen kind of thing. I'm going to show you guys on the controller exactly how to do it and what's going to happen on screen. So this should help some of you new guys trying to figure out what to do. So first things first, find the share button on your controller. There's the options over here and the share button over there. Now you're going to end up pressing that if you can hold the controller at the same time. Press it and hold it if you uh, have it set up this way. Otherwise you might find you have to click it once instead. I have it set up as a setting, but you can always change that within your settings menu. Anyway, so click and hold for me. And now what I'm going to go down to is broadcast gameplay. Okay, we're going to click that. I'm going to go to YouTube, Twitch, whatever I want. Daily Motion, I don't know what that is. But we're going to go to YouTube because we are YouTubers. So, we're going to just title the video. Uh, let's see, we'll title it, um, hang on. Title your video, test or something like that. Once you've basically done that, there's a little thing up here that says include PlayStation camera uh, into the broadcast. It's right at the very top there. You see that where the cursor is? There you are, right there. So you just want to make sure you're clicking on that. Make sure to click it. That doesn't mean you need to have displayed messages into your broadcast. So this doesn't mean you're going to have the whole window up where you can see all the comments and all that. You might want to do that on a separate device so it looks a little bit cleaner in your videos. That's what I've been doing. I like it. It's a lot better that way. So pretty neat. Make sure your uh, standard uh, 1080p at least. If you're streaming these days, you should. So I'm not going to put any tags. I'm not going to really share the link, but anyway. So that's me basically in this right hand side of your screen, which I'm guessing for certain games will get kind of annoying because there's sometimes things in the right hand corner that you need to read. Minecraft not being one of those, so with Minecraft it's going to help quite a bit. I don't know, but maybe you're not like me, you don't like it in the right hand corner, super small, it's just, it looks good for certain games. Maybe for Minecraft it's good, but for certain games it's going to get in the way of certain things that pop up on screen that you need to read, that people watching you will need to read. Maybe it's an RPG, there's a lot more things going on. So what you need to do again click on hold on that share button maybe you need to press it depending on how your settings are put up go down to sharing and broadcast settings now from here we're going to get a few different options but we need to go down to broadcast settings from here we're going to go down to advanced settings after advanced settings we need to go to camera and video settings this is will give you all the control where you can actually do all this stuff at so flip horizontally if we needed that now it's an inverse <laughs> so if you guys don't really see what's going on with it I'll get a little bit closer but anyway so flip horizontally right see flips the video kind of neat so other than that so it's small right now maybe we want it to be wide ooh nice option now that looks kind of nice right gives you a little bit more of a wide angle view to it cool what if we want something more? Maybe we want large. Ooh, and there we are. We are massively on that screen now, as you can see. But that might be a bit too much, so maybe wide is the best option for me. Now, I can change the background as well. I can do a circular cutout like this. Kind of weird. I don't think anyone's going to go for it, but there is that. Um, an octo cutout like this. 
So it's going to cut it out automatically based on where I'm at. So it's kind of neat. It's supposed to be kind of like what you do with like Photoshop, removing the background. Uh, kind of neat, uh, the chroma key one. This is if you do have a uh, green screen behind you, it'll try to do it for you. Uh, it shouldn't do anything for me because I don't have a green screen on the floor, but that's so cool that it's in there, right? So you have all these different little things. You can have a pixelate one. It's a little like it blurs your face out a bit. Pretty neat. Uh, scan lines, toy camera, pixelate comic. What does comic look like? That is going to be decently cool. Uh, and it's not. It's just a blurry mess. Okay. Yeah, if it looks bad to you, it does look bad to me, true. Um, but anyway, so you've got your brightness controls as well. So if the room's a bit darker, you can kind of change that brightness. Um, it has the contrast settings, which we'll probably actually have to use just a bit. Uh, a boom. And uh, there's the transparency, which I particularly don't know what that does. So let's see. Oh, transparency of the video. I don't know how that would probably help anyone, but pretty neat. And if you want to see all this in full screen, press square. So that way you can take a look for yourself and see if you like it. So pretty cool. And again, if we don't like where it's at on the screen, what we can do is we can put it in the lower right. See, now it's down there in the right corner. What else we got? We got upper left. See, pretty much you get four different places you can put it. That's pretty neat if you ask me. That being said, you've got a chance to see how the PlayStation camera really works. Is it worth it for you? Maybe not, maybe it isn't. But if you're a streamer like myself, it could be. I'm not totally sure if it's worth it for my channel just yet, but we're going to try it out, see how it works. I picked it up for $41.99, which is a bit of a spare change, of course. It's not dirt cheap, but it does work, and it's a bit more expensive than, you know, certain webcams, but at the same time, you're getting a high-quality camera with four individual microphones on there, four array microphones, what they refer to it as. But pretty neat, you get a nice cable, it works with your system, you can't use it with a PC, so that kind of sucks. But it's still, it works well, and it's actually really neat. So, I like it so far. You guys got a chance to see what it can do. It also has some play uh, stuff with motion VR and all that. But no one gives a shit about fucking VR. It's bullshit. No one wants that. Fuck that. It comes with the bundle with the VR if you want that. But it's not worth it, mate. Don't buy that. But as for a camera for streaming, it is pretty damn neat. So we're going to do a few more live streams with it and really see if it's worth it for us. But you guys can make up your own decision in my next couple of live streams, see if you like it. Uh, and also, if you guys want to pick one up yourself, now you guys know how to make it work for you. So pretty neat. And there's a few other uses with Share Factory that you can do with it. So if you're interested in that, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll go over all the individual features of this camera in more in depth. Anyways, guys, till next time, this has been Gamer Today. Thank you for watching.